come with me. Oh, yes. Thank you. David Jacobs, how are you? Thank good, you for being good. here. I've also uh, produced the Indie Soap Awards that awarded Hustling yes, all those years ago. Yes, so, right. Okay, and more recently. So, yeah, they just won big. They right? did. Actually, I'm not part of the company anymore, but I did win right. Sebastian What's winning for it. Yeah. Lovely, I love that so Sebastian. Cool. I got to be naked with him, I'm just saying. <laughs> so, so, I want to ask you about that. <laughs> this is David L. Jacobs. I'm here with Wilson Cruz at the 25th Annual Glad Media Awards. How are you doing today? I'm great. I'm fantastic. Yeah. Now, I'm just aware that it's been... 20 years since I saw Ricky appear on my TV, 8 o'clock on Thursday night. Oh my God, yes, Thursday night. I remember, I was August so loyal to that show. August 1994, I was too. Oh, amazing. <laughs> and at that time, as I recall, I think Ricky was the first out character on primetime television. He was the first out gay teenager on primetime Out gay teenager, teenager. Yes. right. Yeah. What do you see as the biggest changes from beginning on Ricky to, to where we're at now? Um, you know, what's interesting, I just did, I just uh, moderated a panel for MTV's new show called Faking It, in which they have a, a gay character on that show, um, and it's a school in Austin, and the, the, the premise of the show is that um, it's actually cool to be an LGBT person at this school, as opposed to when we were doing my so-called life, it was like, you know, it was, it was difficult, and you know, you were you were afraid of being an of being ostracized and an outcast. And on this show, it's the complete opposite. Like the coolest kid at school is the gay kid. You know, um, and then you look at shows like Glee and about and, and how that uh, how they live their lives. And you know, if, if if I can take a little bit of ownership of, of pushing that to where it is now, I am I could not be prouder. If I do nothing else in my whole life, that would that would have been enough. Well, you have been, and I, I know you still get that feedback that the, the impact you had on people 20 years ago still holds true for gay youth now. You know, it, it moves me to tears. I cry about it now. Um, I, I, I love my LGBT kids, and um, if I can help empower them to know how magnificent they are on a daily basis so that they can reach up and reach their dreams, honestly, that my work is done. You were a trailblazer then. You are a trailblazer now, as you are essential part of the cast of Hustling, the series. I, I was, <laughs> yes. Groundbreaking web series that, again, when we're talking about diversity, diverse images, yeah. gay lesbian representation, I, on I, Hustling. I loved that character. Um, he was funny, but there was something kind of quirky about their relationship. You know, he was this therapist that he was kind of, that he was having sex with, and um, there was a bond there that was physical yet emotional, and it was really lovely. And I got to be naked with Sebastian. I mean, Naked with Sebastian Lacoste, HustlingTheSeries.com. All in a day's work. Uh -huh. But seeing that the internet, the role that the internet is playing in diverse representation, um, just like 20 years ago, you being on primetime television was such at the forefront. Yeah, and you know, and, and that, that work of, of making television and film more diverse is really um, a central part of Glad's work now, right? So we, we do call for more LGBT images on, in, on film and in television, but now our work is really about making sure that those images are more diverse, that we actually see, you know, a, a diversity in age, in ages, uh, in, in people of color, um, in, in, in um, uh, 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 you know, that, that we see more trans people on television, and that those, those um, uh, people are, are, are actually real and not, um, uh, you know, these fantastically, you know, uh, sad stories of, of, of trans people. That's not, that's not the lives of trans people. Um, so, you know, our work really is about making sure that everybody's story in the LGBT community is told, and, um, and I'm so proud of that. I'm proud of that too. I'm, it's been great to watch your career and, and seeing all these different areas. If you were going to produce a show, are you going to produce a show? When are we going to see you produce a show? Oh, a Wilson uh, Cruz original production? Um, you know, I'm actually working on something at the moment um, that, uh -huh. that I'm developing with somebody, so I'm excited about that. Okay. Um, I can't really talk about it because it's really early, but I. You can't I just also, tell me in secret? Uh, you know, it's going to be good. How about that? Okay. Uh, it's going to be amazing. I did do a pilot just recently with Octavia Spencer and Dave Annabelle for Fox, so we're waiting um, to, to hear about that within the next week called uh, The Red Band Society. So, Wonderful. fingers crossed, and I'll be back on your TVs. Thank you so much, Wilson. Thank Great to so see you again. Thank you. Welcome to the